Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Some of my viewers noticed that I've got Galaxy Watch 4 on my wrist when I'm making uh, other videos and um, not related to other videos that I create uh, was the main question why did I buy this watch and not any other watch and also how good or bad it is. So today's video is not about reviewing Galaxy Watch 4. Today's video is specifically about blood pressure monitor. And that was the first reason why I bought this watch. Little bit of history. Before this, I had Galaxy Watch 3 and I'm not a Samsung fanboy. Just happened to be that I'm on Android and Samsung was the best phone for me. And I really wanted iWatch, but unfortunately Apple is not really cooperating well with them. Um, uh, non-Apple infrastructure and for what I do in my life Samsung was the best watch before then so before getting Galaxy Watch 4 I had Galaxy uh, Watch and that watch was awesome it had the uh, Tizen operating system the battery lasted four days it did almost everything that I wanted one thing I wanted actually I wanted two things I wanted uh, a sleep monitor and I'll get to this later maybe in another video and blood pressure monitor so I got this watch specifically to get blood pressure monitor and many people are asking me how is it all right so this video is about that by the way everything that I'm talking about today uh, I'll put links down below where I get my watch where I get my um, blood pressure monitor how I operate and how I make sure that data that I gather is more or less correct Another disclaimer is um, the blood pressure monitor is country specific, so it must pass some medical tests to actually be allowed to be used in the country. I'm from Australia. In Australia, uh, we allow to use that feature and it's part of standard features of this watch. So what I will do is, first of all, I will measure my blood pressure. I've got here uh, standard Omron monitor, nothing special about that, it's just a uh, consumer grade medical device. And why I'm talking about this? Because when you start blood pressure monitor on your watch, it states clearly this is not medical device. So Samsung claims while well, they provide this feature, it's only for recreational use only. It's not indicative on any health problems. It does not uh, diagnose you with anything. So they're basically trying to take any responsibility of the feature that they produce. I understand why they're doing this, but that's not the point. The question is how consumer grade device, which is medically approved device, but not 100% correct, is comparing to watch, which you may, may use every day. So let's do that. I will do three separate measurements. And after I finish my measurements, I explain why I would not exchange this for that or other way around. They're not substituting one another. They must be used in a parallel, but my thoughts will be after I do uh, measurements. And of course, measurements probably reveal uh, the biggest surprise is Galaxy Watch accurate. And um, basically that's the question many people got on their mind. Before I start measuring, um, Sadly, I have to stop talking because the watch, when you talk or move, stop completely measuring uh, blood pressure and ask you to start from the beginning. So what I will do, I will start my process. So I start them together. The Omron takes blood pressure faster. The Samsung takes slower. I do three takes. After every take, I explain what I've done and compare measurements. And after that, I put my thoughts forward. All right, let's start. So first of all, um, there's a way to put uh, this sleeve correctly and I see many people don't do it correctly. So even if you got this device, I'm not teaching you anything, just saying it's really important that the tube will point out to the bottom of the arm, right? Uh, and also it will be on the side of your heart. So what I'll do, I slide it in and I make sure that it is in the middle and try to secure it this way. All right, so let's move it to the middle. Let's make it more tight. So this is how it is in the middle. 
I'll start this one and also in the watch I'm not sure if it's visible but uh, you slide uh, panel up and it will be like ECG and blood pressure icon there it says it can measure blood pressure and you click OK it tells you to actually move the watch up so it measure well and don't move and don't talk so please excuse me 20 seconds I'm not talking and I'll start measuring starting now yeah they say put I'm not sure if it's visible put watch up and click OK All right, so both of them finished measuring. Oh, my watch says I'm able to measure. Let's do it again. So I'll be just quiet. Okay, what we need to do, that's, that's actually, that's really good that's happened in my video. Another thing why I would not substitute one to another, because blood pressure monitor measured it consistently. When watch, if you talk, if you not put it up, if you really move a little bit, doesn't do that well. So I uh, won't move, won't talk, and we'll do it once more, and hopefully it works well. That's another annoyance of that watch. It doesn't do things as perfect as we wish to. All right, let's do this. So here's my watch. It says 125 to 89, and here's the Omron 125 to 85. I tell you what, that is my take. It's very consistent. It's surprising how good uh, watch measures compared to uh, actual medical device. So I promised to measure three times. The first time it didn't go well. The second time you saw result almost identical. Let's do one more time and then I put my thoughts forward with my experience with blood pressure monitor, with my experience with accuracy and what I would do if you're in the market for watch like Samsung Galaxy uh, 4. Let's do one more time. Sliding up, starting ECG. Not ECG, uh, blood pressure monitor. Measure, move watch up, go. All right, 
that actually not often happens uh, but um, two times out of three I didn't get measurements so this will be part of my feedback so <clears throat> first thing first the one device which is Galaxy Watch 4 it's non-medical device and everything that happens there it's the best effort so when you get medical device if you don't have any severe problem it will measure your blood pressure properly so first uh, approach is if you don't have proper blood pressure monitor please do not rely on any of your watches to measure that I'm actually speaking specifically about uh, Samsung but I believe at the moment most of the watches would be on the same page speaking of blood pressure monitor if you don't have one you won't be able to use watch uh, I think every week or every second week uh, it requires you recalibrate your watch and by the way you cannot start uh, monitoring your blood pressure on your watch before you calibrate it with your blood pressure monitor so it's asking you to measure blood pressure three times put details in and then the function will work so if you don't do that the function doesn't work so you need to have blood pressure monitor to start the watch now what is the good part of that if you don't have blood pressure monitor on you and you could be in quiet environment when you don't move when you don't do anything else um, you can almost rely on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 for accurate results. Every time that does work, as you can see, two times out of three didn't work, but I believe it's because I do blood pressure monitor same time as start watch. It detects uh, some vibrations that uh, it, it doesn't like. Without blood pressure monitor, it works almost every single time, which is great. Uh, but if you don't have blood pressure monitor on you, if you're in a quiet environment, if you can stop, not move, the blood pressure reading on the watch is almost spot on, almost to the decimal point, which is amazing. I don't know how they do this, it's amazing. Now, there are more downsides than upsides. First of all, I already mentioned, you cannot use it more than a week until you recalibrate, and that's the pain in any part of the body. The second one is, you cannot do this on the go you know how many people really like oh if i'm walking and uh, my blood pressure rises i would like to my watch to actually tell me uh, samsung galaxy uh, 4 watch is not designed for that there are better um, devices in the market than designed for that galaxy watch 4 is not one of them you cannot measure it on the go you cannot measure when you move you cannot measure when you talk any vibration in the body as you can see it will upset it so please don't do this because <laughs> every time that it will fail on you your blood pressure will rise no pun intended uh, that's how it is and the last one is um, any regrets of moving from galaxy watch to galaxy watch 4 because blood pressure monitor was the uh, biggest key purchase yes and no and that's not a review for Galaxy Watch 4, but it has battery life of one day, one plus, and I'm not happy about that. Galaxy Watch had four day battery life. Um, but the plus is it does measure sleep better. It does make uh, measure oxygen uh, um, in the blood better. It does measure um, snoring better. So there are better things if you don't mind charging every day. And also it measures ECG. I never liaise with my doctor how good or bad it is, but it does measure ECG and blood pressure is uh, almost spot on. So hopefully this answers your question. And again, if you would like any consumer grade um, um, blood pressure monitor that I'm using that you know available on the market I put link down below I'll put link down below where I got my Galaxy Watch 4 and also uh, if there are any other question about Galaxy Watch 4 please comment down below and I'll try to make another video about that uh, for now thank you so much for watching if you like the channel please subscribe it's I appreciate it a lot I do it for community and uh, any community feedback uh, is appreciated like subscribe and uh, let me know if you would like to see any other videos until next time greg from brisbane australia